after a while. Today I'm opening up some co comic books and looking at some figures that my mum picked out. And look at this amazing haul of things based on the killing joke. So let's get started. First one here is Captain Planet. He is a very old television show that usually my mum was watching as a child. He apparently saved the world because of pollution. My favourite and my mum's favourite wrestler, Eddie Guerrero. He is Latino Heat. So he died three years before my birthday. So I never really got to see a new fight of him. But I really do love his creative cheating. How he always, you know, most of the time, always was more of a crowd pleaser than people who were, like, more, you know, in it to win it. He was more to please the fans and for them to actually have a good show. But let's get into it. So enough, the movie. This is Batman the Killing Joke. This is a very new version of the movie. It's quite good actually. So I think I'm gonna take out these mystery comics. Twenty two of them. The Ultimate Spider Man issue ninety four. Deadpool Part four. This is an interesting cover in that, you know, how it's Deadpool Part 4 and Ultimate Spider-Man Issue 4, 94, and quite interesting. So, Ultimate Spider-Man Issue 91, Dead, Deadpool Part 1. So now I have two parts of the Deadpool trilogy not not a trilogy like set of comics i'm sorry for saying trilogy that's usually three things teenage mutant ninja turtles issue eight very different stylized very saturated in my opinion very you know looks quite interesting in fact, how it's more like weirder, like this is probably very unique to the illustrator. Okay, so good. Ultimate X Men issue 77, Cable Part 3. So, my first part in the cable. So, it must be about the person just born and plays in Deadpool 2, even though it may be not be the same person. The next West, issue one, don't know any, anything about this. I will read it, but I don't know anything about it. Issue one of two, and I just don't know. If it's a popular series, I don't know. I'm more into, you know, superheroes. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number 12. This looks so cool. It's with everyone, like, having their own spotlight. And you can see them out of, like, everyone. You can see every single character is different in their own way, which is quite cool. Like, and Shred is, like, at the top. It's so cool. Surrounded by foot soldiers. Dead Space. Issue 1 of 6. Oh, this is a gross cover for a comic book. It's very interesting yet gross. I don't think I'm going to read this one because I don't like graphic comics. Like, 
I like graphic novels, but not graphic comics. I just don't like how it's like bloody and it's not supposed to be my not my highlight of thing. American Blood TV or don't know anything about this. Maybe into maybe people like it. I don't know. I'm just you know a child. There you go. It looks like he's been injured. He's bleeding on the piece that's been cut down. So, move on. Wolverine Weapon X Variant Edition 3. Very cool. Very good artwork. I love it. It has such good detail. I mean, enough. Some. Wolverine's just a good. You know, superhero, he is a bloody, bloody badass who takes you no know, prisoners and he kind of is, like, very interesting how his story is linked with Deadpool because his blood made Deadpool's powers. Mega Man, BNT Gazette exclusive. Very interesting. I like Mega Man, but I'm not a mega fan of Mega Man. I'm just like kind of in into his games, except I'm not like one of them people who go stay for the games, like expect high. Like I'm not one of them people who get disappointed because it's a Mega Man game. They have their own spins. Deck. Wait. They expat. Expat. I don't know how to start that. Say that. I'm sorry. It's quite cool cover. It's just I don't know how to say a word. So no one. Everyone could say like Ultimate Spider Man. But no one can just. Yeah. Oh, I've, have you heard of this? It's issue number four. Shidima, the 5th of August. Very cool. I really like, you know, the detail of all comics, but some, like, some detail like is weak but i think this is quite solid detail good not the best but still good free comic book day blackest night oh I've, i love the green lantern series so leave in the comments below which lantern are you my i am personally hawk the blue lantern car because you know i'm blue many people pick green or yellow but i like the more faint ones because there's popular ones and there's less lesser popular ones which i think i like hope because it's a me it's a medium one star wars night of the old Re republic Oh, this is cool. Very cool. This is an interesting. I love how, like I said, that the Ninja Turtles comic, it gives everyone, like, their different kind of perspective on every character. You can see them in their light, and it's so, like, it can, like, make you dive into the story in a way. Because... If you had like a bloody like random thing like just them standing next to each other, it's barely any one would be dived into it like a fur how they would go in to you know a comic they haven't won that has an interesting cover, they would rather go into that a blue cover comic book that has 
It's not interesting cover. Okay, so Collector's Edition Marvel's Comics Marvel Heroes Reborn Stan Fantastic Four Invincible Iron Man The Incredible Hulk. The Silver Surfer is back. I love this. I really love this. This was made in 1999. I love this so much. Fantastic Four is amazing. Iron Man is amazing. Hulk is amazing. This may be one of my favourite comic books. Just alone because how they could incorporate so many incredible characters is out astounding to me and I love it. Okay. Collector's edition from 2000 this time. Marvel's Reborn starring Fantastic Four and the Avengers Iron Man. It's the turn of the ruined. ruined. This is interesting and it's also from 2000, 20 years ago. I love this. I love how, you know, the older comics are so much better than, you know, because there's so many comic books to follow. Like, there's so, I think it's like such a good comic. And I really do love the collector's editions because they're thicker. Collector's edition again of Marvel Comics Essential X-Men. Three stickers inside. Mm. Let's check this. Uh, I don't think they will have the three stickers inside. But I'll check it off camera. And I'll tell you in my next video if they did or not. It's a collector's edition from, like I said, like, weirdly enough, you know, 2000 again. Okay. Collector's edition from 2002. The Astonishing Spider-Man. The the saving secret of Shadrach revealed. Oh, that it sounds so good. That will make you want to read it more because you want to know what the secret is. I don't know what the secret is personally. And I think it's amazing how they could do this. Like, I love how, like I say, all comics are better. The new comics, just my opinion. It's like so clean, like the astonishing Spider Man. Even though, like, this comic is good because it has so many good characters, sometimes you just want one character. Sometimes you just want more character because that's a good thing. Because sometimes people overcrowd the scene. If you, like, had an overcrowded scene, some things that are important may get over samurai, heaven and earth. Very interesting. You see this? I think the samurai outside, when a rich, probably richer family is inside enjoying things while he's out in the rain. But very deep and like, I love when they show like different scenes spots of it like when people look through windows they would see a different like i don't know like it's interesting to see like you know light compared to dark it's and last comic angry birds transformers very interesting two great teasers and I don't play Angry Birds that often and you know I don't watch Transformers as often as I used to so this is a very old comic for me because you know I used to love both of these things so yeah that's all the comics. So let's get on to this big guy. This over here is the Joker from The Killing Joke. This is when he's transformed into the Joker fully from you know his wife sorry don't want to spoil the movie so this is just him being crazy it's not the full scene this is an original you know thing 
he's in front of the hall of mirrors behind him and he's in his purple suit purple gloves it's supposed to be a black suit and white gloves but it's changed because you know i think it's this is a better thing than you know the bloody over thing like because it was like at, oh, in front of a sewer grid of toxic waste i don't think it'd be that quirky uh, than the hall of mirrors it fits with the joker's personality as like a clown if it's more circus themed which is one of the main thing places in the movie a circus so i think that's enough for today i have been away for a while so please keep it up to date i don't have a schedule anymore i just want to do as much as i can and if i find something interesting i'm definitely going to show you guys so i think that's going to be all and goodbye